this is William K. Mark Tom Mark went this one. And today I want to talk about something I saw on the news before I left. It was a police officer being interviewed about what happened in the armed insurrection on Wednesday last week. And it's kind of remarkable. Here are a group of so-called patriots surrounding this policeman at a demonstration where at least some people were carrying Blue Lives Matter flags, had little Blue Lives Matter patches on them, and so on. And they're standing around this policeman. They had taken his badge. They had taken his handheld radio. And one of them said, let's kill him with his own gun. Now this is supposed to be a group that supports law enforcement, that believes blue lives matter, that complained about calls for, quote, defunding the police. And yet they want to kill a man, a policeman, with his own gun. So much for Blue Lives Matter. This is just another example of how these people are a bunch of hypocrites. I don't know what they're for, but they're not for democracy. They're not for free and fair elections. They are for anarchy. They are for white supremacy. They're for power. These people that are shunned for the most part by society, who are hermits to a lot of degree, finally crawled out of the woodwork and decided they were going to try and exert some power. And they found that they could not. They were arrested. Some of them are facing decades in jail. At least one of them faces a count of first degree murder of an law enforcement officer. Now, there are some pretty serious consequences being faced by these people. And some of these people are even firemen, policemen, and military veterans. I think it's a disgrace. These people should not be working for any government agency, be it a fire department, police department, uh, any government agency. They shouldn't even be part of a landscape crew that you see every day with a county government signs on them their trucks. These people should not be anywhere near public employment for any government agency. Local, state, federal. Period. And I understand there is now a big movement to identify some of the employers and the companies that were owned by people that took part in this insurrection. That there is going to be a call to boycott these people. And there should also be a call that any of these employers that have government contracts should have all those government contracts revoked. They should not have any connection to the United States government at all or to state or local governments. There should be no government contracts to these businesses. They should work among themselves, buy and sell from each other. These companies should be listed so thus of us, those of us who believe in a democracy and the rule of law, know not to do business with them. We should have a right to refuse service. I mean, there's people that refuse to bake cakes for people based on their sensual orientation, so so we should be able to refuse service 
to people based on their willingness to destroy the very freedoms that allow these businesses to exist. Now, I am beginning to get towards the end of talking about a certain group, this Pentagon Pedophile Task Force. Uh, two of their accounts have been taken down by social media. A third, belonging to the leader of this small group, has been shut down, and she is now having to use her personal Facebook account to put forth her insane theories, and that's not going to last very long once Facebook finds out about that one. So these people are going to be shoved back into the dark where they belong. They can holler from the rooftops about their political and conspiracy beliefs and those of us who don't want to put up with it don't have to. Uh, if any of them show up on my live stream, they're going to be summarily banned because I don't want them there and my audience doesn't want them there. So no matter what I discuss on my live streams, these people are not going to be able to participate. I will knock them off the air. They can sit in the sidelines, lurk, watch, record, and then complain. Because that's all they know how to do. You know, if they don't like the United States, then maybe they ought to think about moving. Maybe to Russia. Because that government over in Russia is exactly what they want in the United States. So maybe they should go to Russia. But they sure as hell don't belong here. But since they are here, we don't have to listen to them. We can choose to ignore them. And that's what most of this country is going to do. We're always going to have these lunatics, these nutcases, these weirdos out there. And the internet gives them a lot of power. But we can choose to turn the channel, ignore the websites, so to speak, and just let them preach to the choir, an ever-shrinking choir. Because as people start to see the benefits <coughs> of what is coming, they are going to abandon these whack-job philosophies and then start to enjoy themselves, say, this, this crap isn't worth going to jail over. Hell, I'm having it better under this guy, so I'm going to stay over here. You know, we're going to have $15 an hour wages and far better standard of living than you got now. So I don't know why the hell you want to go and break into a 200 and some odd old building and get yourself thrown in jail. Doesn't seem worth it to me. You know, you can go out and make money, you know, detail your pickup truck maybe buy yourself a bass boat get yourself a couple fishing poles and some bait and go fishing get a cooler get some beer screw this protest and insurrection stuff this ain't this ain't worth it man go hunt go do shit you know, stay the hell away from the capital you know stay off these wacko conspiracy sites. See, this is something I don't understand. You know, while these people are going around storming buildings and threatening to kill men with their own guns, there's people out there doing shit. They're kayaking in the river. They're out fishing in the lake. Uh, maybe some of them got a pilot's license and they're up there flying around a little airplane or... Playing baseball, playing football, going to the country bar, listening to country music, dancing with the girls. Doing cool stuff. Rather than sitting in jail because they decided to vandalize a 200-year-old building. I mean, think about it. 
you know, what's going to get you into trouble? Fishing on a lake or breaking into a 200-year-old building? What's going to give you the most enjoyment? Breaking into a 200-year-old building or fishing on a lake? Or going uh, going mudding? Or maybe doing a little bit of BMX stuff? Or maybe going to see a drag race or something? I mean, we got NASCAR coming up. I think people would want to go to NASCAR rather than jail. You know, think about life on those terms. You only got so many years on this planet. You're not immortal. You know, I'd rather spend 10 years of my life going to NASCAR and maybe some, in my case, probably going to uh, air shows and antique car meets and stuff like that than sitting in a jail somewhere. Uh, I'd rather be playing video games or maybe watching stuff on Cinemax or HBO or whatever rather than sitting in jail. Now, this is uh, this is the common sense things that people ought to be thinking about as to what they would rather be doing right now. And if I were that guy with the horns on his head who eats organic food, I wouldn't be holding my breath for a pardon from President Trump. President Trump could give a tinker's damn about the guy with a horny head. All Donald J. Trump cares about is Donald J. Trump, period. His own daughter is even saying that she's screwed things up. She's ruined her political aspirations. So even his own family is starting to regret this whole thing. You know, in a matter of days, like it or not, Trump is not going to be president of the United States. And it's about time people started getting a sense of reality. And quit this crap. You know, go fish. Go hunt. Go to the movies. Do something productive with your life. Go earn a living and feed your families. Instead of breaking into 200 plus year old buildings. It ain't worth it. You know, you may get your picture on the six o'clock news or you know you'll be a hit on Facebook or Twitter or YouTube for a while but eventually you're going to sit back and realize that all this commotion wasn't worth it you wasted your time you blew however much money it costs to go up there and cause all this mayhem instead you're going to be making lawyers rich they really don't care if you go to jail or not. You know, they look at it as a game. They say, well, I'll see if I can defend this guy and keep him out of jail. If I can't keep him out of jail, at least I'll be a couple grand richer. Because he, either he or the state's going to pay me whether I win or lose. You know, lawyer has no stake in the game. All they can do is advocate for someone they either like or dislike they don't have to like their client they'll just go in there and they'll they'll try and win the game and if they don't oh well it's on to the next game so don't think that lawyer that's defending the horn guy with the organic food eating habits cares about him he don't he just wants to make money off of this maybe get a little publicity you know sure that he'll defend anything and anybody and he'll get more clients and if he's a public defender, he really doesn't have a whole heck of a lot of choice. And what's funny about this is this is the very legal system these people don't like. That they sit there and talk about ships in dry dock and about how they're sovereign citizens and all this. And the first thing they do when they get in trouble is they go out and they hire the very same kind of lawyer. One of those bar attorneys to get them out of the mess they got themselves in. If you're going to be a sovereign citizen, act like one. Refuse the public defender. Refuse the lawyer. Defend yourself. Go proceed. You know, rebel against the system. Don't turn to it when you get your neck in a noose. A little late by then. Because everything will come out in court. But knock yourself out. 
Now, why you people are busy breaking into 200-year-old buildings and making an absolute fool of yourself with painted faces and horns on your head and these furry costumes and what have you, we'll be out there doing the fishing, we'll be out there going to the NASCAR races, we'll be out there going to the football, baseball games, we might even try a little ice fishing. But we'll be enjoying ourselves while you guys are out there rotting in jail, heeding the warning not to bend over to pick up the soap. This is William K. Murtaugh, Mert Witness One. Have a good one.